Hello, how's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, the Opera Commentator, and I want to welcome you to yet another episode of Splatoon! Wait, another episode? No, I want to welcome you to Splatoon! It's the first episode, Paige. What are you even talking about? I don't even know. I had an energy drink. I'm pretty hyped up right now, so I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. It's the first episode I've recorded in a long time. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Want to be the freshest squid on the block? We'll teach you some funky fresh moves on the way, on the way to Inkopolis! Okay, so, motion controls are currently activated right now, and I hate motion controls. So, for the sake of the tutorial level, I will be using tutor uh, tutorial. I will be using motion controls because I have no choice, damn it. Shoot ink with ZR, pop the balloons. Aim with the gamepad. So, I see the little reticle right there. If you press the ZR button, aim the reticle on whatever you're targeting, fire, and bam. So, Splatoon is basically a paintballer in a way, as a, that's, you know, how I word it. I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people word it, too left and right with the R stick to move and if you were to press the ZL button like this you can go and see a squid form. Basically what squid form does is you're able to move faster inside of ink however if you're on land you move rather slow and you see that little gauge right there next to my little squid that is our um what do you call it our ink tank. Basically you have a limited amount of ink uh, that you could use per weapon. The weapon we're using right now I believe is called a splatter shot if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong future me if I'm wrong please correct that with anything magic put on the screen what is the right name of this weapon and if it is you know the name of the weapon please don't do anything or just say you know you're correct and all that yes the tutorial level is pretty boring reset the camera with the y button that's one thing I actually forget a lot is you know the y button I don't really use the y button a whole lot in this game one thing I do want to point out is I will only be doing hero mode throughout this adventure. I will not be doing any kind of turf wars or rank battles and all that jazz. I am strictly doing hero mode. I'm going 100%, all the scrolls, every level, all that jazz. So, if you're looking for, and not looking for, if you're looking for some turf wars and some rank battles and all that jazz, be sure to catch my live streams whenever I do live streams. Maybe, maybe once the series is over, I will post some videos about me doing some turf wars and all the jazz. Oh, and, and squid form, if there's ink on the wall, you are able to enter squid form and you are able to climb up the walls. And if you were to press the X button, you move a little faster climbing up the walls while in squid form. You can even jump as a squid, as bizarre as that looks, as weird as it sounds. Press A to dash, or press A. While swimming, press X to dash jump. You see this little gap right here? If you were to, well, I hate motion controls so freaking much. So, as long as you ink this surface right here, and you ink the other surface on the other side that you're trying to get to, squid jump over there, do a dash jump, and bam, we are on the other side. Like that one song by Tonight Alive, the other side, or is that the one of their albums? I think it's one of their albums. And, as a squid, you are able to go through gates like this. Great it, yeah, gates, I was about to say great it. You guys see down there, we have a different color ink, and our color right now is orange. If we were to go into enemy ink, See what's happening? We are moving rather slow, and we are actually taking damage. The longer you stand in enemy ink, the more damage you take. Eventually, you'll get splatted. That's basically this game's version of death. Splat. And yeah, I think that pretty much about covers it. The tutorial level is not too long. Actually, no. We do have a few more stuff over here. Press the R button to throw bombs. These are splat bombs. There are different versions of splat bombs. This one's one of my favorites. We also have seekers. Actually, no. We'll go over that when we get. We'll go over that when we see that eventually. Climb, climb up. You're almost to Inkopolis. Ooh, the tutorial level is almost over. Thank the Lord, I've been running out of stuff to say already. All right, rare, ready for action. Press the EL and go to Inkopolis. Welcome everyone to my brand new series of Splatoon. Hold on to your tentacles, it's Inkopolis news time. Let's unveil this current regular battle stages, alright. This stage is all about close quarters combat. Nah, I'd grab a charger and snipe from high up. Or from up high. Ugh, of course you would, Marie, of course you would. Marie, what's your strategy here? For starters, 
don't battle if you have the hiccups. You know, I wasn't even thinking hiccups. I thought she was, you know, drunk or something. And now, the current battle stages. Splat-tastic. We've been battling a long time, but you know, I can't remember a time when Judd, or Jude, wasn't the ref. Some say he's been refing since the dawn of time. Man, I totally want to work here! You want to be a pop star and have a desk job? Newsflash! Newsflash! What is it? What is it? Inkopolis is great! Zatfish has... Vanished? Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, are we gonna lose power? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. I wonder if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. Stay fresh! Alright, so, welcome to Inkopolis. This is a plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Most Inklings here are obsessed with the hottest sport in Ink Oculus. Ink Battles! The crazy tall building in front of you is Ink Oculus Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of Ink Oculus Tower for online battles. This is Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your Inkling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But check it, hold on, but check it, the staff in the shops can be snobby, a can be a snobby bunch. They won't serve you if they don't think you're fresh enough. Battle Dojo is on the second floor of that building over there. Check it out if you want to battle your friends one-on-one -on -one and sharpen your skills. You might want to steer clear of that back alley. Smells a little fishy. And next we have... Huh? Who's that creepy old dude? You know, he does kind of look creepy. He seems like the type who can get you mixed up with something dangerous. Oh boy. Whatever, why don't you just head to the lobby in Ink Oculus Tower? That's where you can get your splat on. I am actually not... Oh, you know what? First... Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. No, get out of there. It's a Splattershot Jr. Okay, Splattershot Jr. Future me, don't edit that. Okay, I am turning motion controls off. That is so much better. Look at how much better I can control myself and my camera. So, over here at the Booyah base, we are unable to buy anything. This is where you buy all your gear. Over here, you can buy shoes. Over here, you can buy clothing. And over here, you can buy headgear. And over here, you can buy different sorts of weapons. And as you see in the top right corner right there, we have a level. We are level 1. 0 out of 700 XP. And we have no money right now. We are unable to buy anything at the moment until we reach level 4. If we were to try to enter any of these shops at Booyah Base right here, the staff would just simply kick us out because we're not fresh enough. However, I will not be focusing on multiplayer in this series at all. I'm strictly going to be focusing on this creepy old dude over here. Okay, that sounds really creepy when I word it that way, but what do you say we head in there next time? I apologize for a rather short episode, but I want to save this up. I want this episode to be a tutorial episode, an introduction episode, and all that jazz. Next time! On Splatoon, we will go see exactly what that creepy old dude has in store for us. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope each and every single one of you watched this video has a fantastic day. I'll catch all of you later, and stay fresh!